way. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? I'm incredibly sleep deprived and rough looking Jay Dalton, and I've arrived at a very freaking awesome track. Binge watch a bunch of GoPro videos in the Nationals last night. We're here at Bud's Creek Motocross Park over in Bud's Creek, Maryland. Track crew is out there putting in some absolute work to make this the most pristine practice day I have seen in a long time. It's gonna be deep, it's gonna be some crazy lines out there, but it's gonna be good practice. I'm not gonna talk too much though, because it's about to start. I have to warm up the beautiful YZ250, it's waiting for me, it's ready. I just kind of half-hearted cleaned it, but I'm gonna get out there. It might not be a first kick, so don't judge me. I drained the carb, so the beast is strong. Don't stress it. Nope. on the site lab. We give a quick rundown of the goals for today. Number one is to not suck. That's always pretty high up on the list for me, but since I don't get to ride super deep track prep very often, it's gonna be a challenge. I'm gonna do my best. Second, I wanna jump the biggest jump that they have here. The locals call it Big Gulp. It is a 120 foot step up triple. It looks like it's gonna be a bit of a stretch. 450 Pro Class, usually everybody hits it. 254 stroke, kinda hit or miss. But today, I wanna send that beautiful blue 252 smoke sailing right on up over the hill. Land nice and light on the back side of that landing. And hopefully not in the face of it. I guess while we're talking about iconic features, if you're not too familiar with Bud's Creek, it is also home to Henry's Hill. This is a section where you come in pretty much full throttle, fourth gear, everything you got, then you have to go heavy on the brakes because you're about to go over a mountain. Way back in 1995, Connecticut's finest, Mr. Doug Henry, in a minor slip up where he accidentally whiskey throttled off the top of it. He was racing towards the end of the race, was coming up the face here. I don't know if he missed his brake lever or he grabbed a handful of throttle. The end result was he landed clear down at the bottom of the hill. One of the wildest dirt bike moments in the history of dirt bikes. So yeah, we're jumping jumps. We're not doing the Doug Henry method on Henry's Hill, and I'm gonna try to not suck. Oh. Dude, my bike gained like 20 pounds from that. Holy. That was way more than I expected. Good gosh. Running around in third and fourth gear going five miles an hour. What the heck? <laughs> I hope it doesn't dry up like that. If I get picked in, that's <laughs> I think I just caught him hitting that uphill triple over there. It's not really that big, but you have to hit it on a turn, and it's so slick right now. Let's see if he does it. Oh, God. Yeah. Mega camera curse. I'm sorry, man. He was flowing good before I started recording it. Let me mix up some more of the good stuff, and we'll try this again. Scientist. <laughs> Oh, it's all 
time they're almost done I just switched to clear goggles slightly by choice and slightly because I just poured lead gas all over my other ones so uh, we're gonna be able to see we're gonna be going fast there's not gonna be a freaking crisscross of muddy crazy lines and this session will determine if the big gulp is jumpable I'm gonna test her out I don't know nope I don't, no problems it's big but we're getting it this session I really wanted to pick up speed so I hopped in behind random 250 man I did my best to keep up uh, here's how they're getting it. This was going around real good and I was starting to steal some of the flow. Eventually it got sick of me and pulled over, but I did my best to keep the flow going. Entry speed, you're flowing around. Whoopsies. Even though those were some of the best laps of the day, it did not boost the confidence much for the main event. This is what I was thinking right when I got off the track. I hate to say it, but I think I'm pulling the plug on the uphill triple for this one. I was hoping there'd be a shelf on the outside so you could rail it, but just because of how flat and slippery it is, I don't want to go for it with iffy traction. I need to freaking rail that outside and have it hooked up all the way up to have a chance. I mean, I'm sure there's somebody out there who could just borrow my bike and do it right now, but they are a better person than I. But the final session is coming up. Let's get it. No way. That's his license plate? Are you kidding me? That is freaking amazing. Look at his plate! <laughs> I started off here just trying to do some more fast laps, but as luck would have it, right in front of me on the first lap, we got our first look at the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> 
It was actually pretty sick. But it's no time to be distracted. Quick look over the shoulder, make sure no one's gonna run me over. Deep breath. We locked it. Session as I'm not doing it, but that I saw that guy. I think it was 311 on a YZ450. He freaking greased it, so I'm, I figured, what the heck? Just being able to see it helps so much. Yeah, my heart is still going. I feel like I'm. I'm uh... ah! All right, I calm down. We're back to normal. Fortunately and unfortunately, that was the last session of the day. It's time for the 250 to walk the plank back into the abyss after I've moved my whole life. Before we end the day, let's just admire those beautiful lines that got cooked in the second half of the day. So many choices and so deep. Fit a freaking small child in there, as you can see. Very happy I made the trek. Not the most happy that I couldn't get any outside angles. I was here solo. Obviously not ideal to just be a GoPro guy, but I tried to, I tried to cut it up for you in a way that hopefully is entertaining. If you enjoyed the day, if you enjoyed the send, I'd appreciate if you dropped a like. I'm about to hop in this thing and drive about seven more hours. En route to a mountain bike adventure that may or may not have been posted already. I don't know what point in the timeline we are right now because this was kind of a spur of the moment thing. But yeah, stay tuned. Don't know what's happened. Don't know what's next. But I'll see you in the next one. Come on.